Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be showing off the amazing goodies that I got from Prima Nature at the recent Afro Hair Beauty Live event in London. Now, I went absolutely insane at this stand and I couldn't choose between the two packages they had so I just got them both. Um, no regrets because I'm really really happy with what I got so let's get into it. So first up we have the intensive treatment now this um this is after shampooing with the shampoo apply a generous amount to hair and comb through place a plastic shower cap over the head and let it sit and then rinse off so this is a treatment conditioner like a deep conditioner um as opposed to a rinse out conditioner i really liked this product um like it smells really good as well it just smells really fresh and it's made with argan oil which is one of my favourite oils it's really good for your hair it says it's going to strengthen moisture and prevent breakage which is just what you need on wash day I don't know how much of your hair falls out but it can be really messy sometimes and um, so after using this my hair felt really really soft and hydrated it didn't feel over moisturised the sub mask can do that and they can leave your hair feeling a little bit mushy and um, changing your curl pattern meaning they are more stringy rather than your usual pattern and um, I didn't get that with this I really like this and it's something that I will definitely repurchase in the future next we have the shampoo and this is a sulfate free shampoo and it says the sulfate free shampoo nourishes and adds exotic shine while gently detangling and cleansing your hair this shampoo does not strip your hair. I really like the colour of it. Um, you can see it is a very gold colour. And it just smells so fresh. Um, as you can see, I've used this and I don't use a lot of shampoo when I wash my hair. So when I used this, I didn't use a conditioner as well because I was going to be using the intensive conditioning treatment that came with it. So I just shampooed my hair. This is something that I don't usually do for the simple fact that Shampoo can leave your hair feeling very, very dry, it can leave your hair feeling stripped um, and it just doesn't leave a nice feeling on your hair. This was different. I used this alone and my hair was very, very soft. I could easily finger detangle with just the shampoo in my hair. So that is a really good, that's what I want in a shampoo for me personally. My hair can get very dry and um, don't judge it today. This is like day five, <laughs> no six curls, so don't judge today. But yeah, I really love this shampoo. It's something that I will for sure be getting again. Next we have the Moisture Recovery Leave-In Curl Milk, which is infused with argan oil from Morocco. And this leave-in conditioner, I mean, I'm nearly out of it already, is quickly becoming an absolute... So it has the same smell as the rest of it, which I think is the same throughout all of the products. But my curls felt amazing after using this. They were soft, but... Sometimes you can get a leave-in that could weigh your hair down slightly, so your curls are not fluffy, but they're still moisturised. This left me with the fluffiest curls that were just hydrated and shiny and big and fluffy on the first day. It usually takes day two or three before the volume comes out in my hair. This made it come out straight away, and I've used like a lot of this. The only thing with this is it's very thick, which means you have to like, like, it still doesn't, it takes a really good shake to get it to the point where you can squeeze it out. So my advice, if you do purchase this leave-in, which I do recommend, is that you leave it on your shelf sort of that way, so that it all has time to get to the bottom. Um, I think that when it gets to sort of the end, it's going to be really hard to get it out and I'm probably going to have to cut the bottle, which... I don't really like doing but other than that I really really like this leave-in. Next we have the Butterlicious Curl and this is a curl hydrating cream. Quite a custardy texture which means you really do not need to use a lot of this but I did like this a lot and um, it is quite a thick one but once you sort of rub it in your hands it kind of melts away a little bit more which means that 
it, it isn't going to weigh your hair down. Like, you'd think it would because of the texture of it. Like, there is quite a thick one. You, as I said, you don't need to use a lot of it, so as long as you're not too heavy handed with it, it won't leave your hair feeling mushy or anything. Um, I did feel that this left my hair feeling very hydrated um, and the moisture lasted. I didn't have to touch my hair the next day after I styled with this. So it's something I will get again. It's something that the whole brand is actually really accessible in the UK. You can get it in Superdrug now, which means that, you know, when I run out of stuff, it's very easy for me to just go to the shop and pick it up again. And it's something I will do in the future. Final styler that I have is the Curl and Hold Custard. This is in a bigger jar compared to the Butterlicious Curl Cream. And again, that same texture. This is probably my favourite um, after the leave-in. Out of the three that I've got, I'd say it's the leave-in and then this. Just because it is, it rubbed to me, get my words out, um, just because to me it's a mix between a cream and a gel. Because it does give you a hold, but not a crunchy hold, not a strong hold. Um, so if you're after something with a little bit more hold, this isn't going to, you know, lock it in and make it a little bit crunchy. Um, but it does definitely hold the curls for days. As I said, I did a full style using all three of the products, I think it was. Um, and I didn't touch my hair the next day. And then on the third day, I just needed to add a little bit more of this to the drier areas, like the front here. That's it. I'd definitely say that these products, the result after using them does last and as I said they're very easy to get hold of in the UK. Next we have the hair mask, very thick, I mean, So the first time after getting all these products, I obviously didn't use this because I have the other intensive conditioning mask. Um, but this is a strengthening hair mask, so I used this on the next wash day instead. And so I leave it on for 5-10 to 10 minutes, but I don't think I've ever left a hair mask on for 5-10 to 10 minutes. I want it to really, really sink in, so I left this on for about 20 minutes. Once I rinsed it off, straight away I was in love with the results completely my hair was easy to manage I mean I could just pull my fingers through my hair easily it just felt really silky soft and when I brushed it there was hardly any fallout from using it so that's another one that I will be using again and I would definitely recommend to people Next we have the Argan Oil Oil Treatment. I haven't used yet. Well, I've used it, but not the way I was told to use it. So I've used this. I add a few drops to my spray bottle that I use to refresh my hair. And I've used it directly on my scalp, massaging that in. But I was actually, when I got this, um, it, the recommended usage was to use it as a hot oil treatment. The directions to do that are not on the back and I've never done a hot oil treatment before. I really want to try it because I've heard amazing things, however I am scared I'm going to burn myself basically. Um, not the, I'm quite a clumsy person and I, I really just don't want to do that so if anyone has actually done a hot oil treatment then please 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 can you comment below, can you email me? or which my details will be below and just talk me through it please I have no idea how to do it I've never done it before but I really want to do it so any advice is definitely welcome 
and that's the reason I got this. It was well, it was in the package, but it was the whole point, and I've stored on it, so I'm sorry. And then I was also given a cute little hair pick, which is still in the packet because I own about a million hair picks at the moment. Yeah, that was what I got from the Creme and H store. Obviously, I visited all of the stores and I bought a few bits from every single one, but this is just this brand that I'm talking about today. Um, overall, I've obviously used all of the products. I've obviously got favourites being the Leaving Conditioner. Um, also, very surprised and impressed with the shampoo. Um, the reason I spent so much on the Creme and H stall is because I got the snot gel and um, which is actually part of the argan oil range in a treasure chest box and where I wouldn't use the snot gel on all of my hair it was perfect for edges like I'm not an edge person I don't have time and to be honest my edges are just not not gonna do anything but it did what it said on the bottle. And then I had um, the Pure Honey range, which I liked that range a lot. And then I had the Coconut Milk range, I think it was. And again, I liked it. So I was definitely, straight away, that was one brand I was like, you know, I need to go to them, I need to try more. So I actually came out like how big this bag is. I came out with two of these bags like my shelf is dominated by this brand and for a good reason I absolutely love them and I would definitely recommend them to anybody with natural hair not just necessarily my type of hair I just think that they are very hydrating and the results do last for two three days before you need to add maybe a little bit more water a little bit more gel or something but overall, very, very impressed. So, so if you tried Creme Nature, let me know below which other ranges. I know they've got a few. Um, let me know which ones are your favourite, which ones you think I should try, which ones you don't like. Get in touch. Let's, let's socialise. Yeah, so that's my haul. So thanks for watching, guys.